owned the United States Postal Service, the post office. We're at the United States Post Office here in Mumford, Tennessee. Uh, again, gonna be doing the first one. We got my homie uh, Sly Ghost out here with me. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let's do it. Yeah. So we're looking for a uh, poster seven. Again, I've never been up in uh, this post office here before. Excuse me, uh, I need to talk to the postmaster. Okay. Y'all can see they got a camera up there. I already got that. What's your name? My name is Shelly. Okay. You probably know who I am. I do. How are you today? I'm tired, but I'm pretty good. That's good. Are you feeling better than the last time I talked to you on the phone? You were sick. How can I help you all today? As I don't know how many weeks ago it was, whenever I had spoke to you, I had talked to some lady, very rude, very disrespectful. I asked about my uh, package, how it had been shoved into my mailbox. She said that she was not going to allow me to talk about the drivers like that. That wasn't uh, like I was making an insult. Okay. Well, what needs to be, what needs to happen is, is that the drivers they need to be corrected. I don't, I don't see how that that can be gotten away with. I don't understand that. Well, she's not the not the boss here, so she can't really discipline the employees. That would be my job. Right, and I was asking, was a post manager, a postmaster, excuse me, or supervisor was in? Uh huh. And she was saying that she already know who I was. Most likely I wasn't here at that time. <clears throat> Just being at Christmas time, I was out on the street helping the carriers deliver packages, delivering mail, helping customers, going and seeing businesses, things along those lines. Plus, I also have another office hey, that I, I deal with at the same time as this one. So there is most likely I was not here at the time. Okay, I, I, I understand that. But what I'm saying is, is that uh, just for me asking a question, just for me asking a question, gave her no right to be rude. She hung up on me twice. She hung up on me twice. I don't remember her name. Okay. Well, uh, we borrow different people quite often. Excuse me? We borrow different people to work quite often. Well, mo Especially during Christmas time. I don't know if it was during Christmas or whatever, but I do know that uh, if I heard a name, I would most definitely know. So until I find out her name, I can keep doing this. I mean, because I, I, I won't. I told you to come on in and see us. No problem. I, 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 and I told her, well, I was going to tell her that, you know, you know, it wasn't no need for disrespect. I wasn't even, I wasn't even doing anything wrong. I have a right to call here. Absolutely. I've, I've never, never told you not to. I, I've never been. Matter of fact, this right here is my first time ever stepping foot um, into this post office. I'm from Memphis, and I've never been in this post office. I've barely even passed it. And like I say, but don't you live out on one of our routes? I live on. I didn't want to say it out loud. I didn't want it on camera. I'm going to edit it out. It's fine. I mean, it, it'll it's be. It's just a safety precaution 
it's fine. Whenever like they uh, they put a package in, I remember it was me or my mo my wife at one time. No, I we went out and got it. No, 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 not that package. Uh, this morning, it was a box. It was my wife. She had to uh, call me outside to come get it out. It was literally I had to like. Um, do something. I had to grab a hold of it. I even bent like a fingernail having to remove it. That that's ridiculous. I mean, they say if it fits, you know, but that right there did not fit. That right there was that right there was totally unacceptable. Have you thought about getting a larger box to accommodate? That way you know it's damaged because I know that you get a lot of like computer type things. So maybe a larger box might help as well. Well, they have the extra large boxes that are available. Well, I mean that there's been there for years, and my stepdad he didn't want to remove it, and I believe I called up here, and um, I said, "Can I still get my mail or my packages? Because I'm always having stuff coming through i look at it like this right here if they cannot uh put it in the mailbox if it doesn't fit it it shouldn't go up in there okay then we can absolutely leave a, a letter to let you know that the package can stay here and you can more than welcome to come pick it up that's fine i mean like i say i sure it'll be one of the little peach 3849 forms is what it'll be new mailbox sure. is not very expensive just so you know especially oh. the extra large ones they are not very expensive and they would keep your your sensitive equipment much more secure because nothing would be damaged by placing it in there, things along those lines. That's more of a security factor on your side than ours. Um, we don't put mailboxes up for customers. That's not the Postal Service's responsibility. That's the customers. Depending on the amount of mail and packages that you receive at your house, it's your responsibility to make sure that you have a receptacle that will accommodate that amount. <coughs> Well, I, what I'm saying is, is that if they're like, oh, yeah, we're going to make it fit, even though. Uh, sir, like I just said, if you have packages and mail that do not fit in your receptacle, it's your responsibility to actually provide a receptacle that's large enough to accommodate. The only items that are supposed to come to your door are oversized items that will not fit into a extra large mailbox. I understand that too, but what I'm saying is this right here, why why do they feel it's right to shove something up in there and matter of fact I have no idea, but if you call me when that happens, I can find out which carrier is on the route that day and I can discipline them at that point. Black lady that uh does she still does routes here and stuff because well whenever i had called i don't know if you remember this or not it was about uh my gatorade it wasn't delivered to me she said oh i uh i messed up or something like that and i forget how it went because that's been a long time ago now whenever she come back that same day she beat on my door and my dog <laughs> almost i'm not making no threat i'm just saying my dog almost you know, he knows how to pull down the latch and he can get outside if he wanted to. He's a German Shepherd. She come beating and banging on my door. That ain't right. She was trying to let you know that she brought the package back to you if that was the case. She was beating on my door. Like, like a cop trying to go after a fugitive. Okay. I understand your concerns. I appreciate you coming, but I've got to get back to a meeting. If you call me on the days that something happens, I'll be more than happy to talk, to have a conversation with that carrier and make sure everything is taken care of. But again, it is the customer's responsibility to have a receptacle that is large enough to accommodate your mail and your packages that come to your house, unless it is an oversized item. Well, if they keep shoving uh, stuff in my, uh, my mailbox, I'm going to be up here every single day and i have no problem with that i will contact the postal inspectors and the postal police and have them up here with you i have no problem with that as well and you have a lovely day and y'all come back and see us and i will get every license plate and that sir is a threat and i have no problem calling the postal police right now go right ahead i'll wait all right in fact let's go ahead and
It's not a, say that's a, a postal threat. Now that, now it's right here what I'm gonna do. Every, every license plate that uh, comes up and through here, I'm getting everybody's license plate, everybody. They can do what they want. Uh, because it's my First Amendment right. How about that? Um, I don't think so. I think so. Okay, we'll see about that. I got to have some uh, friends in the police department. All right, good. They can get educated too. I can't release the information. I can't put you on video or nothing. It's the contract. Well, I like to apply. This is my personal information right here. You don't have to get hostile with me, sir. This is my personal information. Why you need my personal information? Can I Can I? explain something to you? Yeah, I'm going to ask you a question. I'd like an answer. Oh, you would like an answer? Yeah. Well, this right here is... How you doing? Pretty good. What's going on today? Well, I w I'm working on the story. I come up in here. I told, uh, I talked to this lady here, which is the postmaster. She said I was making a threat. I got everything on video. As do I. That's fine. You're being recorded as well. All right. Now, with that, with that right there being said, I'm coming up here to find out why my package has been shoved up in my mailbox and in the past some of my package has been broken now you know that it is my first amendment right to video record anything that i can see in a public view anything your eyes can't be trespassed okay so you want to uh, speak with the postmaster about your packages i was talking to her about it um uh, well, what happened in the past, and I told her, I said I would like to come up here and I would like to uh, talk to her and everything. Don't worry, I'm not running. I ain't worried about you running. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on today. The United States Postal Service uh, and also Postal 7. You know about that? No, I don't. Yeah. It's my right to film anywhere on public property. This right here is public. Got your ID on you? You know, me. you know me, man. I know you. Yeah, have what, I, have what's going on there, man? Just tell me, shoot me straight. I've known you for God knows how many years. Right. Yeah, what's going on, man? Well, this lady said I made a threat. I come up in here just to do a video. Okay. okay? Now, what I'm saying to you is, I just, the, the whole uh, purpose of this series is that, see, my packages was disrespected. I, I've done had You're talking about damage or something. Right. Yeah, I got you. That's what I mean. But yes, that's fine. All I'm saying is, sir, is that I wanna find out uh who the postmaster was. I've been talking to her for years, you know, because right. I've had multiple complaints. She will not do anything to the carriers. All right, let's just say uh no, no, let me ask you this though. Has it been determined that the packages were damaged by the carriers or were they damaged by the senders? No, it was by it was by the carrier. By I got I got shoved it in the mail. I got I got video I got video footage of it. Of me. Matter of fact, I got cameras out there on my property. And my wife, you know my wife. Yeah. I don't have to say it, you know. I know, I know who she is. Now what I'm saying is she won't do nothing about it. So I just was like, All right, well, let me tell you, let me tell you another way to go about it. If you're not getting any help from the 
postmaster here, there's a thing called, if you know the law like you say you do, there's a postmaster general above her. That's where you need to take care of that and go handle that. Yeah. Go, and above, go above. If you feel like you're not, it's just like a department store. What's the first thing you do if you're having issues? You go to the manager, you don't feel like you're doing nothing, then what do you do? You go higher up. That's what that means. And she's <laughs> so hilarious. This right here is going to be real good. She said, I, I made a threat just by saying, I'm going to record all license plates. This you right here. Well, you can't record license plates. This, this, uh, hold on, I'm not being rude, okay? I'm not, I'm, I'm not being rude by yeah, no means. Yeah, I understand. Go ahead. I'm listening. Now, let's just say if I was driving. Okay. All right. Well, you know, if you want to run my plates, all right. Well, you're an officer. You're an officer. Yes, sir. This lady here. Anybody can see a license plate. All right. So what I'm saying is, it's open to the public. It's not like I can go online and run it. Not, I, I don't want to do that. I mean, wh what am I going to get out of it? You can write what the purpose of the tag is for. As a matter of fact, make sure it's legal to drive and it's in the road. Right. If somebody was coming in front of your house, pulling in your driveway. Hey, man, 1K89 Victor 8, that's what's in my driveway. Then that's for us to determine why right. they're there, are they supposed to be there, all that. I understand all that. The now, thing is, you're going about it the wrong way doing this because it puts people in front. You know the way the day and times is, man, now. How, how this economy is, how the world is. This puts people in fear, and it creates, it creates a habit. Now, see, I'm glad you said that. Yeah. I'm glad, and I, I, want, I want to respond to that, sir. Okay. And the reason why I'm doing this video, see, we got all this here, you know, we got these people looking over here. Yeah. See, it's to see if people respect the First Amendment. It's not only the right to film in public, but also it falls under freedom of speech. I didn't say anything, you know, B or F or, you know, anything yeah, yeah, like that. I, that. I didn't say anything like that. that. But you understand what I'm saying? I mean, yep. it, it's, it. I mean, if I can see it. But I, I will tell you this, before you come out here trying to preach the law, make sure you know it to the full extent what I'm getting at. Oh. Because you're only, you're only giving them bits and pieces. But you cannot put people in intimate fear. They don't know what's going on. Look at look how the world is today. People right. are going out filming stuff and then coming back blowing buildings up and all that. Do you see where this is going? That no. was said exactly on one of the videos you were watching. But if you have an issue or something like that, take it up with who you need to take it up with. There's no scene. Have you ever heard of First Amendment audits? Yes, sir. That's what this is. Come do, do this for me. This is what I'm asking. Handle it. Go back the right way. Go talk to the attorney general. Well, like I say, I mean, I'm not going to let anybody violate my rights. Well, I'm and not going to sit here and let you put fear in people. Everybody else put people in fear. In. They don't know what you're doing. I understand what you're doing. You've told me what you're doing. Right. I understand that. But everybody out here does not understand that. When you start affecting people want, not wanting to get out of the car and come in and conduct business, then that is a problem. They, so they, make sure you know what you're talking about. I know exactly what I'm talking about. You're, you're preventing people from coming in here doing business because they don't know what's going on out here. But their fear doesn't trump my rights. I mean, you're putting people in intimate fear <laughs> by doing what you're doing. You don't understand. I know you. This ain't like you to even act this way. I've well, known you for 10 years and you've never acted this way. Well, like I say, I'm on. I'm going to continue to do what I do. I'm not breaking the law. So that's the lady who just said that I uh, made a threat. That's your right, man. What? That's your right. My wife. Not my wife. Right.
right. Yeah. Are you hard of hearing? Yes, I am. Oh, okay. Smile, you're on camera. Hey, you know, you know what? What? I bet you I got more battery power than you got. Oh. <laughs> I can do this all day. <laughs> Why don't you? I can. <laughs> I get you too. Hey, let me get these license plates again. Okay. Just hang tight. All right, go ahead. Trying to find some warrants on me. <laughs> Making sure you ain't gonna attack me. Why would I attack you? That's the thing, I, I don't know. That's fine. Yeah, just so y'all know, I will be back out here and I will be doing more filming. Have a great day.